हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 37 व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर रिस्पांसिबल फॉर फॉर्मेशन एंड डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ ओजोन इन अपर एटमॉस्फेयर ओजोन रिप्रेजेंट बाय ओ3 व्हाट इज ओजोन ओजोन इज एन इनऑर्गेनिक मॉलिक्यूल वी कैन से विद द केमिकल फार्मूला ओ3 व्हाट डज डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ ओजोन मींस लाइक डेप्लेशन ऑफ ओ3 कैन इंक्रीज द यूवी रेडिएशन एंटरिंग अर्थ सरफेस बेसिकली व्हाट ओजोन डज इज दिस इज आवर अर्थ लेट्स सपोज दिस इज द एटमॉस्फेयर and this is the upper atmosphere in which o3 present and o3 means ozone and ultraviolet ultraviolet rays from the sun and this o3 pre- protect the earth from these uv rays so o3 is very important part of our environment and there is some things which can form and which can destruct the o3 very much important thing to understand here is the formation of ozone we can do with the help of solar radiation explanation i already write here formation of ozone means the reaction of uv radiation with o2 o2 is a formula of oxygen or dioxygen molecules result in the formation of o3 o3 which is ozone the uv radiation splits the oxygen molecules into the free oxygen or o atoms these o atoms combine with molecular form of oxygen to form o3 and this is the formula you can see this is how we can make the uh, formation of the we can artificially create the o3 as well with the help of this uv radiation uv radiation is also called as the solar radiation so first a option is very right that solar radiation is used for the formation of the o3 so the option in which a is contained we can take that otherwise eliminate the rest of the option so option number b and c we can directly eliminate because solar radiation is not there now we know that chlorine is one of the major component on the basis that o3 can destruct so chlorine is the one of the crucial part in which we cannot ignore that from these options so the option which contain chlorine like d option number d contain by first option only so we can eliminate the option fourth as well so the correct option for this particular question will be option number 1